Hi, this is Chris from Discovery Learning. In this video, we'll be taking a look at our new add-on for LearnDash, which allows you to use your content, producing Articulate Storyline or Adobe Captivate, in order to get learners to mark topics as complete. Installing our plugin is very easy. Simply log into the WordPress admin area of your site and navigate to Plugins, Add New. If you do a search for LearnDash, you should find our plugin very quickly in the results. Click the Install Now button, and then once installation is complete, make sure to activate the plugin using this link. Our plugin requires at least WordPress version 4.5 and LearnDash 2.2 in order to function correctly, so make sure that your LearnDash environment is up to date. To demonstrate our plugin, I have created a course within our LearnDash demo site, and have created a topic page that is ready for us to drop some content into. As you can see, the LearnDash generated Mark Complete button is here as standard. If we click on Edit Topic at the top of the page, we will be taken to the Edit page for this topic. Our plugin adds this brand new box on the right hand side of the window. By checking this tick box, and then clicking the blue Update button above, if we now go back to the page, you will see that the Mark Complete button is now gone. We are now ready to create some content to go onto the page. So here we are in Articulate Storyline and what I have created is a simple activity that will be used to mark the topic as complete on our page. Just to explain what's happening, the activity starts with a quick animation. The user must then click this button on the console which will initiate a countdown, and it's at this point when this timeline has ended where I want my topic page to be marked as complete. So to do this, over in the triggers panel on the right hand side, I will create a new trigger. The action that we want is to execute JavaScript, and we will do this when the timeline ends on this particular slide. You will see that there are many actions in Storyline that can execute JavaScript. Now we need to write our script into the JavaScript window, and it is important that you write this exactly as displayed here. It is parent.submitLearn-topic-complete. Using parent dot is important because we will be embedding this content onto the page using an iframe. So this is how the JavaScript function is able to hook into the LearnDash environment. Finally, make sure that you use capital letters as shown here. So it's small s for submit, capital L for learn, capital D for dash, capital T for topic, and capital C for complete. Follow this with open and close parentheses and a semicolon, and we're done. Now all you need to do is publish your project and upload the content to your web server. I typically do this using an FTP client by creating a dedicated Storyline folder within my WordPress WP content folder. Now that my Storyline content has been uploaded to my web server, I am ready to embed it into my topic page, and I will be using an iframe to do this. First I will click Edit Topic on the top bar once again, and before typing into the content box, making sure that the text view is clicked as opposed to visual view, as we will be typing some HTML here. It's a relatively short piece of code we need to create an iframe, and you can find more information on how to do this on the following Articulate Help page if you get stuck. Adjust the width and height values as needed in order to get your content to fit snugly onto your page. Now click the blue update button once again, and we are done. So going back to the learner view within my LearnDash environment, we can see that the page will load my content automatically, the learner interacts with my content, and shortly after the countdown on screen, the LMS will automatically mark this topic page as complete. And as you can see, the lesson in this case is also now complete. I hope you find this video and our plugin helpful as you start to create your own engaging learning experiences using LearnDash. Please leave any comments or questions in the support forum on wordpress.org or email me directly at info at